This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by GoToAssist. So this week I decided to check out OwnCloud. So this thing is a Dropbox alternative that's basically open source and it's available for multiple platforms, including Linux. So I figured, why not? I mean, I really like open source cloud platforms, especially OwnCloud. I've heard a lot of great things about it, but I've also run into a little bit of trouble installing it. So I figured I'm gonna do a whole segment about how to set it up on your Ubuntu server 12.04. So today I'm installing OwnCloud, setting it up on Linux Ubuntu 12.04 server inside a virtual box on my Windows 7 machine. If that's not confusing enough, well, we'll get a little bit further into it. There are steps online, but they go, they're a little bit outdated. So I wanted to go ahead and start by going over to this website called software.opensuse.org. Now over here, you're going to find directions for downloading OwnCloud. You just click on the operating system that you want to use, and then you scroll down to the server version that you're using as well. So for me, I'm using Ubuntu 12.04 server, so I just had to follow these simple directions. Now I did find some other directions online. These ended up being completely out of date. They were for the old version of OwnCloud. They don't work anymore. The links are completely broken. So these ones are definitely the ones that you wanna check out if you wanna install this on your own server. Now I went ahead and installed everything and it's very quick. It takes about 10 minutes to t do the entire installation. And I had this running on my server. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in. All right, so I got my server running. And after you have this installed, you can also run ifconfig to figure out what your IP address is. Now this, uh, the server IP address is also the IP address for your own cloud. So it'll be, for me, it's 10.7331. 120 slash own cloud. Now, when I first went over here, I ran into this problem where it says PHP module GD is not installed. Now, I did check. I made sure that GD was installed, PHP GD. So I, I knew it was there, and for some reason, it just wasn't working correctly. So I figured, okay, well, maybe I just need to reboot it. So I'm going to go ahead and close this down, and I will open up another screenshot that I took. So these actually came in really handy when I was doing the segment earlier because I was able to just take a couple of screenshots in VirtualBox and go back to them as needed for my segment. Very easy and simple. So after the installation and reboot, I'm gonna go ahead and run this. I'll have to log in again. Now, once I'm already in my Ubuntu server, I can go over here and I should be able to just refresh and go back to the same site again and not have that problem anymore. So it turns out it just needed a quick restart. It wasn't anything complicated at all. Now, it wants you to create an admin account if you haven't already. So I already created mine. Okay, so I'm all logged in and this should open up the own cloud GUI right inside of my browser. Now you're going to create an admin account if you haven't already and you should be all set. So you can log into your account download the desktop or the mobile phone app, although the iPhone one, it seems to be about 99 cents or $1.99 depending on when you get it. And you can go ahead and start uploading things and be able to access them from any of your computers. The nice thing about this is it also comes with a online desktop version as well. So I downloaded that one as well. So I have, I've already gone ahead and set up this own cloud directory on my Windows machine so I can easily access all of my files through the cloud. Once you have that all set up, you can go ahead and close out of there and you should be able to access some of your files in here. So you have your files, you can access music and actually play straight through OnCloud. It does pretty well as far as streaming goes, so it's not too bad. It's kind of like using Google Music if you've ever used that. You also have the ability to add contacts, which is something a little bit different. It's a kind of an add-on with a VCF file. The calendar is pretty cool. So I have calendars in several different places. I find the, the fact that they have a calendar add-on very nice. So I can just actually sync everything through here. I don't have to worry about what device I'm using or what synced account I'm using, if it's Google or Apple Calendar or what have you. And then you have pictures, which is going to give you a little layout of all the different photo files that you've downloaded. This will also give you a nice little slideshow as well. And you have a couple of extra little things that you can do, little settings. Uh, you can go into your admin account. You can install apps if you want to have it sync with Dropbox, for example. 
and you can add users and change your personal information as well. Um, so far, I haven't had any problems with OwnCloud. I've really enjoyed it. Uh, it's very easy to use and it's fast, especially on this machine with this VM. So I haven't minded it. I didn't mind it at all. Um, I did hear that there are a couple of little little problems with it, some little bugs that you might run into. So if you do run into those bugs, let me know about them because I would personally like to check them out myself and see if there's a way to fix them. Also, you can always email me, feedback at hack5.org, with your own choices for an open source cloud platform, if there is any other one out there. Uh, let me know. Again, that's feedback at hack5.org, and I'll be right back after a quick break. In IT, issues can pop up at any moment. Unexpected user problems, you know what I'm talking about. Networks and server configurations, viruses. I mean, staying on top of it all can be totally challenging, stressful, very rewarding, but stressful. And that's why I'm very excited about GoToAssist by Citrix. All of the services you need are integrated into one simple cloud-based tool set so you can take control of this unpredictable IT world. Now, GoToAssist monitoring helps you quickly identify potential issues before they become a huge problem. And with a customizable dashboard displaying all the performance of your networks and servers and desktops, you're really gonna see why I love this. You can get proactive alerts and you can be the first one to know about any of those issues. Plus, with GoToAssist remote support, you can provide live or unattended support to any PC, Mac, or mobile device from anywhere. And you can easily keep track of all of this with the GoToAssist service desk. I highly recommend GoToAssist. I've been using it for years, and you can sign up for a special 30-day free trial. Visit GoToAssist.com, click on the Try It Free button, and use the promo code HACK5. That's GoToAssist.com, Promo code HAK5. It's time for my favorite part of the show, the Technolist Photo of the Week, and this week's comes from Mike. It's his tech setup. He's got three monitors, lots of interesting looking books, and some sweet posters. I actually really like those, and I kind of want to get one for my own house. Now you can share your pictures by emailing us feedback at hack5.org with the subject line Technolist. <laughs> 